I started out in life um, playing music as, as a hobby, something that I was, would just do to pass the time away. Um, I never thought I could really make a living at it, but I kept being forced toward it. Not forced, just led toward it all the time. And I didn't really take it seriously until I was in my late 30s. Late 30s, you know? And at some point I said, okay, I'm gonna do this. This is serious, this is a real job. And when I committed, my whole life changed. Just wanted to meet Taj Mahal. And uh, my friend Chick Streamer took me to meet him. And I took some of my cassettes with me. This is 94, there were still some cassettes, you know, and stuff. And so I had a couple of cassettes and that I was gonna give to Taj, because he was my, you know, I was, he was, my, he was my hero. He was like one of my main people I'm influenced by. So I gave him the cassette and the producer was over there. I said, no, oh, that's kind of rude to just give him one. So I gave the producer one too. <laughs> You know, and then I, I got a call the next day from the producer going, hey man, you got any more songs? And then he shopped me a record, shopped the record deal for me. A new album is called The Reflection. Uh, and it's the, um, my first record uh, on the uh, Yola Bell Ryko label. Um, and it's um, 12 songs, very R&B and pop, soul Americana. I had fun recording <laughs> and I really, love the subject matter and I just put it out and I worked on it for two years and um, at this point I have no idea you know if anybody's going to like it <laughs> really the public you know I love it I really love it and that's a huge success for me you know nobody buys one copy I, I just it's just a huge success for me